Hi. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. <laughs> Let me let me fix let me let me fix this for a second. <laughs> how does how does that look? How does that look? It's a little bright. I'll knock it down one. Okay. Hello. We are doing We are on season 17. I keep calling it season 17. That's what I've been calling it today. I guess that's what I've, what I've decided it is called today. It is, it is generation 17 is what we are on. Uh, all, we are officially starting all of her chases generation today. Um, excuse me. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to go today because I do have work tomorrow. However, I'm not going in until nine. So I think that I have, I'm going to have like more, I, I don't have to get up at 5 a.m. I, I only have to get up at 7 a.m. So I, I, I'm going to, I figured I would play a little bit today. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I can go for very long. But uh, yeah, I, let's go ahead and load in. I have, <laughs> I've been playing quite a bit with the werewolves pack. It's, I will say, I was, I've, I have been incredibly indifferent towards the ideas of werewolves like the entire time I know a lot of other people really wanted it and I'm really and I and when I heard it was announced I was like oh awesome like that's not necessarily going to be my thing but like I know a bunch of other people really wanted it um so I'm, I'm I'm really happy about that um so I want to check the frame rate for a second um but I have been thoroughly enjoying the werewolf pack I've been playing it a little bit uh the lore is top tier like so it's so good. I got, I was obsessed last night. I was like, I need to go to bed because I've got work tomorrow at 7 a.m. But I, I, I couldn't because I was so focused on trying to get this like lore figured out. Um, I think I got a lot of it, but not all of it for sure. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, play with everybody really quick. Um, I guess I'll do a really quick rundown so I've already, all, we're going to be enrolling Oliver Chase in university today. I've already, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Um, I've already enrolled um, Lucas and Rachel in university. So Rachel is going to um, uh, Ubright, not Foxbury. <laughs> Rachel's going to Ubright with her boyfriend, Jason. Um, and then Lucas is going to Foxbury. We're going to be going to Foxbury with Lucas. Um and we, uh, so I've, I know a lot of people say that if you don't play as Sims, they never graduate. But from what I have found, if you set a Sim to, if you put a Sim in university and you play through university, I, I, I don't even think you necessarily have to play through it. But like if, but if you set a Sim to unplayed and you put them in university, then they will, I, they will usually graduate. Um, that is what I have found in the past. So we're going to see if that works this time. Um, if not, then I'll just graduate them myself later on. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the plan for today. We need to remember to put, um, to put Oliver Chase in Tidal Tower, because if I put him in, um, I forget what this one's called, Briny Tower. If I put him in Briny Tower, um, then I'll have to play as Lucas as well, and I don't want to do that. Oh, that's an interesting bit of lore. Briny Tower is for freshmen. Is this the upperclassmen one? It's highly coveted by returning students, particularly for its single room dorm and peak views of the Foxbury campus. Well, they're they're actually exactly the same. So it's the exact same um, dorm. It's just flipped. But yeah, so let's go ahead and play. I don't. I have not done. I haven't done really much maintenance. Um, there wasn't really a need to, at least not yet. Um, the main thing I've done is you probably have noticed Oliver Chase looks a bit different. So he did age up into a young adult last time. Of course, we have started his, his generation. Um, but I, I wanted to synchronizing howls. Um, but I wanted to kind of update his look a little bit. This is not going to be what his final, this is not his like final young adult look. This is his, like, in-between, goody-two-shoes, absolute nerd, dweeb on high school, can't like, valedictorian, and I'm going to actually be a doctor now. Um, this is his in-between, I am really upset, as you can see, because my dreams have been crushed. So that that's what this look is. Basically, um, it's just, like, more comfy clothes, and then I imagine that this is kind of what his hair looks like, if would have, like, looked like 
when he wasn't like styling it. Um, so hi B. I was just kind of going through, uh, like everything I've done. So the main, uh, Lucas, Ra Lucas, Rachel and Rachel's boyfriend are all in university. We're going to be enrolling Oliver today. Um, I also gave Oliver a very small makeover. It's not going to be permanent. Um, I just wanted there to be like a visual way to tell that he like is sad. So I've given him, he's not, he doesn't look like super sad, but he definitely doesn't look as like, I mean, right now he is because I've given him this and I think honestly, I'm just going to keep it. Um, but, uh, he, but like, I want it to look like he's not, he's not putting as much effort into like taking care of himself, you know? But, uh, we are going to be enrolling in university tomorrow. Like tomorrow afternoon is when I have found the best time to enroll in university is because that means that, um, I'm going to check my scholarship applications as well, because when you do it on Monday, like Monday afternoon, it means that your last class is also going to be on a Monday. So you have lot. so you have like the weekend to study and like make presentations and stuff. <laughs> Yes, the depression fit, basically. That, that's what we're doing right now. As a recap, the reason why Oliver Chase is so upset is because uh, in the last um, stream, then um, he, I can't get over it. I, I keep feeling like he looks like Makoto. Oh! <laughs> wow, as if, to, as if to add insult to injury. <laughs> So he got two of the scholarships. He got Super Scout and he got Strangerville Resident. He did not get the scholarship related to beat to rocket science. <laughs> I can't make this up, dude. I can't make it up. <laughs> In the last stream... Oliver Chase's dreams of being an astronaut got crushed because, uh, because of a medical, an, an, a, uh, before unknown medical issue that he had. So our boy is not doing good right now. Um, but I don't think that he's the type to allow this to like keep him from, um, from wanting to go to college. Honestly, I've been thinking about maybe giving him the academic aspiration um, cause I feel like that does fit him. Like he, he is super smart. I feel like, I feel like academic would fit him. Um, yet another thing that makes him similar to Sage. <laughs> I'm gonna have him go over here to get another collectible. Um, yeah, yet another thing to, that makes him similar to Sage. Uh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the full, this is the full depression fit. It's just like, you know, again, like, his hair is, like, he's not doing anything with his hair. He's kind of just letting his hair do whatever. He, he's still wearing a button-up because it's Oliver Chase, but, like, it's unbuttoned. It's kind of messy. And then he's wearing jeans and Converse, which were unheard of. Unheard of when he was a teenager. Hmm. All right, you two. We're not going to be playing as you in a second. Now, these guys are officially done. Like, we are done with their generation. These two are good. Um, doesn't keep... They're still super cute, though. Still very, very cute. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to really do anything with them. Although I will have them kiss each other and be cute. How are you doing? You are going super slow. Because Sims go super slow when they're sad. It's going to take you forever to get to this pond. Oh, I didn't notice that there was a little water. Look at this. I never noticed there was a little waterfall off this fishing pond. How cute is that? Oh, awesome. <laughs> New skill day is complete because you just got level two fishing. But yeah, so kind of my plan is I think I'm going to switch between having him be... We're going to have him be depressed, and then I think I'm also going to make him angry. Um, and basically, I'm just going to be... Oh, thank you, Rachel. I'm just going to keep these on in the background. So, like, right now, he's feeling pretty good because um, he, like, raised his skill. Like, new skill day just went really well. Um, he had a good holiday. So, like, even though overall his life is in shambles, he's distracted. He's distracted right now. I'm going to miss them as well. Um, so he's pretty happy, but as soon as he's not distracted, as soon as these things run out, then he's, he's a goner. Gonna go right back to being sad. 
Um, Lila, why don't you come over here and do a power sculpting video? Ooh, Oliver Chase just got a cow plant berry. And there we go. So we have now gotten five Chris, or so we've now completed the first part of Curator, finally. Uh, <laughs> that took forever. It should not have taken that long. I should have, like, taken him to a park or something just to get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, so now we need to collect five crystals, collect three frogs, and collect three fossils. I forget what the next one is. Send five items to Geological Council, breed five frogs, collect five elements. Luckily, these two things, like, just lead to each other. And then, and then, yeah, so, it's, the, the curator aspiration is a good one. I think it's a fun one. Also, we have not played with, um... We have not uh, played this save with the moons yet, so we are currently on a new moon. Um, Oliver, why don't you go home? Now that you've... I think it might be a good idea for us to maybe work on this a little bit, the curator stuff. Um... Just so we have, like, a little bit more. Hello? Oh, did you, are you done, Lila? Okay. Um, I would, I would like you to raise a skill, though. So maybe come over, can you come over here and do it again? Thank you. Um, but here, buddy, why don't you go and get yourself some food, and then maybe we'll go to a park or something? Um, and then at the park, we can then we can work on these collectibles. Like, I can go to the Willow Creek Park. Although the Willow Creek Park probably isn't going to have any frogs. Um, I'll, pro I'll go to Oasis Springs. I'll go to the Oasis Springs one then. Why don't you clean that up? Go to the bathroom. And then wash your hands a little bit just to get that hygiene up. You doing good, Lila? Of course you are. I'm trying to go normal for you. She is, she's going at it, man. How are you doing, B? I'm gonna repair this really quick. And then clean. I feel like he's distracting himself, you know, like I said. Distracting himself. Oh, Lila, you're so close. You're so close, please. One more time, one more time. Just to get this. Honestly, new skill day is super glitched, and sometimes they don't get it. So, like, she might still not get it, but I'll give it a try for now. Here, quick, while you're happy, go observe the sky. We can get moon gazing now, because we, we can moon gaze, so we have new prints that, we, that he can collect. I've collected a couple of them when I was playing with, like, like werewolves. I collected a couple of the moon gazing prints. There we go. Okay, uh, the resolute. Yeah, see, exactly. Let me just, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh no. Y'all, I might need to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I might need to, like, exit out of my game and go download UI Cheats. I, I, it has been a very long time since I've been able to play without UI Cheats. And I'm not sure I can do it. I, I'm honestly not. Especially if we're going to be doing university today. I'm not sure I can do it. Well, yeah. Okay, so he's feeling fine right now. Um, I kind of want to see if I can get a print and then we can move on. have so much crap in his inventory <laughs> we've got his little scouting trophies and stuff though so that's good um uh, reading werewolf lore i have been thoroughly enjoying the werewolf lore let's travel and let's take misty with us And we'll go to Oasis Springs together. He probably doesn't like Oasis Springs very much. Oasis Springs, uh... Don't look directly into the moon. Oh, wait, that's the sun. Um, yeah, look at the moon all you want. Alright, let's...
let's uh let's go look for frogs. Can we look for frogs here? No. There I know there are a couple places here where we can though. Like over here? Yes. Come over here and look for frogs. Couldn't catch a frog. Dang it! Frogs are hard to catch. It's true. Um, we don't have level ten handiness, or we could go in there and get a frog from there. I don't see any like rocks or anything either. Collectibles can be a bit weird in Sims, unfortunately. Well, we can hang out with Misty when we're done. Yeah, like we've got a couple of plants, but I don't see any um any rocks, which I thought for sure there were some around here. Okay, well, I'll stop making you motion sick. Sorry about that. I that was don't mind me just randomly walking. Okay, he's sad again. <laughs> Go ahead and go to work, Lila. Well, hopefully he can get a frog out of here. Okay, he got a spotted heart frog. Which is uncommon. That's not bad. <sighs> okay, let's, let's go over here. Maybe this is pretty. It's all surrounded by wildflowers. And let's go sit together. He's also really tired. I don't think he slept much last night. And we can kind of talk to Misty a little bit about our feelings and stuff, I guess. No, sit together. Oh, look at this little angel. She's still so... She... <laughs> yeah, go and, a go and ask her for some advice. His voice is so deep. Like, listen to his voices as he talks. Oh, and look at her. She's trying to, like, make him excited. Misty is... I, I aged Misty up with the good trait. Um, I don't think you guys saw some of, like, the things that I aged her up with. Let's complain about our problems. Oh, wait, no, we're not sad anymore. There we go. A friendly voice from Friendly Advice Sentiments. When Oliver Chase remembers that Sims words, his goals become clearer in his mind. Oh my gosh, why is... I mean, he he is still complaining. No, he's still complaining. Okay. Yeah, so he's still... So Oliver Chase is uh, perhaps not the best person to be talking to right now. But he's still, you know, I, I still would like him to be like... Like, let's express some fondness. Let's be like... You know, we can tell her about how much we appreciate her being there for us. And we can compliment her appearance, too. I can't even hear him. Really? Ugh, I don't know. Oh. Could you hear him there? Do I need to turn up? I think they, I think they are at max volume. I need to turn the master volume up more. Okay, well. This was kind of a flop. Uh, let me do one more run through. See if there's any rocks around. Um, can we hunt for frogs again? 
Let's go look for frogs again. But yeah, I don't see any, uh... I don't see anything else. I was supposed to be like, why are you still walking slow? You're focused, but he's really tired. <laughs> That's why he's walking slow. Yeah, you can have an early night, and then tomorrow we can, uh, you know, move you, ship you off to college. Oh, hello? Oh, no, that's Hana. I was about to be like, is that Ami? But no, uh, this is Hana. So this is actually, this is actually one of, um, Haruka and, this is Haruka and Hanzo's daughter, like, oldest daughter. I just, I should have realized that I put her in a very similar outfit to what I put Ami in, but I didn't realize that until right now. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, Hanzo probably looks at her and is like, oof, daughter, I love you, but can you please change your shirt? <laughs> no, they're too slippery. Okay, well, we're, well, let's just go home. Well, I think at this point, you know, considering the fact that, you know, first of all, the whole, part of the reason he wanted to do the physics degree was because that would help him be an astronaut, but also he didn't get the more physics-related scholarship. I don't think he really wants... The voices are just really quiet. It's always been like that. I thought it was just the volume you liked it at. I have been noticing... I, I mean, like, to me, it always sounds fine, but, like, I have noticed sometimes when I go back and watch VODs, that like the game itself is is pretty quiet. I could I should probably turn it up a bit more. In fact, let me turn it up even even a little bit more. I'll turn it up to like 80. Cuz like 100% I have found is a bit too much, but like 80 I, 80 could be fine. Um but Yeah, so I think that instead Oliver Chase is going to go for biology. Why don't you I know that we can moon What does moon bathing do? Like, what is the point of moon bathing? Why don't you do a power sculpting video? Let's get, let's, let's work out your emotions a little bit. I would, I would love if I could like make you jog to clear mind, but that was not an option. So. Cozy fire. I don't know what you're sorry for B, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to do the whole thing. Um, but biology, I think, is a good fit for him, especially because he, uh, biology teaches, um, let's listen to music. Biology teaches, um, logic and fitness, which are two things that he likes. It also teaches gardening, so that's also kind of nice. And then you're also kind of hungry, so why don't you get some leftovers? Yeah. And then when you're done with that, then you can go to bed, my dude. Poor guy deserves it. You got 10 hours of being depressed. Something fun that I noticed, something interesting. Um, he did not get the responsible trait. He got good manners, but he didn't get responsible, which is so weird. He's like the first heir that I've had in a long time that did not get responsible. Um, and I don't quite know how that happened, because I would say that Oliver Chase was very responsible. I guess it just like on the last day of school, then like I, I must have, or like his last day of teenagerdom, I must have just accidentally picked an option that set him as not as not as good or like not as responsible like lowered it so i mean i guess it doesn't really matter um oh no hanzo's an elder i meant i meant i thought i had hanzo and haruka take potions of youth that's so weird but uh yeah yep hanzo's an elder Haruka is not. All right, you two come to come to bed. Oh, 
I'm going to save as well. I don't know, something about seeing Oliver, Chase, and Makoto, like, right next to each other here, it, it just makes me constantly think about how they look alike. Even though, again, they don't really look that much alike, it's just the eyes, and the... Not even the fact that they have black hair, because, um, uh, Makoto had dark brown hair, not black. I was about to say, come on, buddy, you need to get showered and ready for school, but he doesn't need to get ready for school. He's He is a college student. I mean, I guess you also need to get ready for college as well. Crush on Ritu Nair? Sure. Um, but yeah, so we will be, uh, we'll be sending him off to college today. Why don't we... Waxing Crescent Moon... Why don't we, um, go and get yourself some food? 50 days! Okay. So, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably delete, oh, I can't delete this moodlet. I mean, I guess I could delete all mood, I could just get rid of, like, all of his moodlets. But, oh, I, the way I normally do this is I do it through UI cheats, but I don't have UI cheats. Oh, this is infuriating. Why don't we, why don't we chat with Misty, and then we'll also chat with Rachel and Lucas. Let's just chat with all of our buds. <laughs> he is, he is really not doing well. Like, this, this poor boy, he is, he is really struggling with this, with this whole thing. I mean, it's fair. I feel like it's fair for him to be struggling, and like, his dream basically got ripped from his hands. So. <laughs> Dreams that you suddenly realize are just not possible. It's really, really hard. I, I'm speaking from experience here. Okay, but he's chatting with all of his friends, so that's going to make him feel a bit better. Let's give our mom a hug before we head out. I actually, I actually like this volume a lot better. Is this, is this, is this volume better, B? Because I feel like this volume's like way better. Aww. Hosey's like, I know that this isn't exactly the circumstances that you wanted when when you went off to college but i know you're gonna do great yeah the secret she's telling him is that she's he's gonna do great and she's proud of him which is adorable now you have you both have taken potions of youth right yes you have and it's actually time we need to set sim lifespan to long and then we also need to set season length to seven days. Oh, look at the calendar with its little uh, little moon cycles on it. I love that. Let's get rid of neighborhood brawl. We're not gonna we're not gonna do neighborhood brawl. Can hear what he sounds like now. And oh wow, yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a way better volume. I'm sorry that it's been so quiet in the past. Um, this is a way better volume. Uh, but I think it's time. I think it is time. We sh Let's enroll our boy. I didn't actually have him apply to universities, but, um, but you can just cheat it here. So we're going to go to Foxbury. And can we get all the degrees? Yeah, we have the option to do all of the distinguished degrees, so that's kind of cool. But we are going to go for biology. And biology helps, in case you were wondering, it helps with bodybuilder, botanist, doctor, marine, and marine biologist. So I don't think that Oliver Chase necessarily knows right now exactly what he wants to do. Um, but we know that this is kind of what this has all been building towards. So we're going to have him take, 
If there's a rocket science class, I want him to do that. Um, but it looks like there's not. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to give him three classes in, in, in um, biology. And then if we ever get an option to do like a rocket science course, then I'll have him do that as well. So we're going to do that. Um, we are, are going to be, okay, so we don't want Briny Tower. Um, we are going to be doing it in Maritime Manor. I don't know why Briny Tower is so much more expensive than, than Tidal Tower. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, and we have our, yeah, our scholarship is fully paid. So that's cool. So we've got a Merit Scholarship, we've got Super Scout, and we've got Strangerville Resident. So we don't, yeah, wow, he gets, he has a full ride. <laughs> I mean, do we, do we, did we expect anything else from Oliver Chase? Yeah, good on him. I mean, he's clearly gonna, ro like, already rock in college. Like, full, like, got into every distinguished degree. Full ride. We, it's, it's, it's what we knew our boy was gonna do. For real. So let's go. He even got $77. He got, his scholarships were so much that he got $77. Okay, let's give him... Um... Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. I forgot to grab stuff. You you should always grab grab their stuff before you go. Let's give him 5000 that should give it give him enough money to buy a computer, even though he has one. I just forgot to grab it, um, as well as some like decorations and like textbooks and stuff. Wow, I'm really it's it's laggy. Yeah, we've had a, we had some um some internet problems today, so it doesn't surprise me that it's a bit laggy. All right, why don't you clean that up? Oh, look at him. He is excited though. He is excited. Who are all of our We've got a lot of roommates here. Let's go ahead and grab a room for ourselves. His favorite colors are like blue. Wow, you can tell that I've played in this. You can tell I've played here before. Um, let's just go for this one. I feel like this one has a really nice view of the campus. So why don't we assign bed? We'll assign this one to Oliver Chase, and then we'll assign this one to one of the boys in the other boys in the dorm. So we'll assign this to um, uh, we'll assign this to Kaito maybe. Um, and man, this place is an absolute mess. Okay, so you can see here that, um, that he does not have to start his classes today. Uh, but let's go ahead and see. So tomorrow he's got building with cells, so, um, anatomy for amateur, amateurs, and CSI tree. <laughs> Intro to forest pathology. So he's going to be learning, um, fitness, logic, and gardening, I think are, are the biology ones. So let's go ahead. Usually the way that I do this is I go ahead and start working on, um, I just go ahead and do the homework for the next day. So tomorrow he has got to do building with cells. So let's just go ahead and do building with cells homework, homework. And then... Once he's done with that, we're, we will buy some university items. I'll get him his own computer. I've got a couple things he can hang up around his room. If this is his desk, then we have got uh, this poster he picked up from the city that we can put put down. Um, oh, we've got this picture of him and all of his friends. And we've got this picture of him and Misty. There we go. So he's got he's got a couple things. 
He's got a couple things. Not a ton of things, but a couple. And he's upset again. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to be learning about cells. I want to be learning about stars. It's okay, son. I, you'll you'll figure out something. And we should also keep an eye out for Lucas, um, because Lucas goes here too, so he should be around campus. Yeah, this is a very cute little place. A lot of people don't like university gameplay, but I really enjoy it. I think that it's like. Like, it, 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 it does get kind of tedious, but, like, once you kind of understand what exactly you're, like, what once you kind of, like, understand more of, once you kind of, once you understand the rhythm of university, then it becomes a lot more fun. Um, but I just, I don't think a lot of people have played it enough to kind of get that rhythm. So, oh, I, I miss biology, so I'll grab that biology coursework um is there are there cheaper laptops I, I would i want a laptop but i want one i don't want that one want one that's so expensive um i would like a plant i'll buy myself a plant i think that the four the 4k laptops are the only ones luckily i've got a lot of money left so i don't need to buy like a ton of things here, let's get some little botanicals. Just a, a couple things, you know, liven up our room a little bit. And then... Yeah, so that is most of our money, but that's okay. I mean, we still have... We still have 610, and we shouldn't need that much more. So let's go ahead and... Pull this laptop out. We'll put this poster up above our door as well. Um, we've got some fun little plants. I've got another plant that I can, oops, that I can put on my bedside table. Look at that. Look at, look at this. Here, we'll put the, the space poster by his bed, even though honestly, I doubt that he actually wants a space poster by his bed right now. <laughs> um, can put, we can put this Again, more space things. Everyone's like, wow, are you a physics major? And he's just like, no. <laughs> no. Uh, lock computer for everyone but Oliver Chase. It's not going to stick, but we might as well. Yeah, there we go. So just a little bit more of a personalized room. Um, as he gets further along, I don't think I'm going to make him join the fraternity that is on campus. Um... But, like, as we get further along, then maybe we can, we can try and, then we can, like, find and, like, take our dorm and make it nicer. But, uh, let's really quickly, we can swim, yeah, we can swim in there, so that's fun. Let's look for rocks. Here we go. So let's try and identify where all of the collectibles are really quick. Um... And then that will help us later. There's another rock. So there are two rocks. <laughs> two rocks on campus. At least. I don't think we can go over here. No. No, no, no. We can't go over there. I think that those might be the only two rocks. Unfortunately. Yeah, I think those are the only two rocks. Oh, oh, one more. Yes, okay, there are three rocks. Three rocks on campus. There's one over here by the water. There's one over here on the other end of the water. And then there is one over here by the car park. Okay, we found a, a limestone, which is good because we need to collect some fossils. So we'll extract the fossil in a minute. We got a prehistoric hoof print and a perfectly preserved mustache. We got two. Hey, what the? Excuse me. 
I found I found two fossils. What are you what are you talking about? A whole two rocks. Three. Three rocks be. Okay, we got another piece of limestone. Boom. Okay, so we've gotten we've gotten the three. Where did my other where did my other fossils go? They disappeared. <laughs> Well, at least that one's done. And then there's also a crystal. Uh, so now we need to get five crystals and two more frogs. We're probably going to need to go somewhere else to get frogs. I don't know who you are. I'm going to just, I, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, we're probably going to need to go somewhere else to get frogs, unfortunately. Even though I feel like there would be frogs around here. Like, there are so many little, like, like, this feels like a... Like, with the, the river going through, I feel like this would be a good place to get frogs, but... Oh, well. Okay, we got an alabaster and an orange topaz. Did she... How does he keep getting two? I mean, I guess I'm not, I'm not complaining, but I just don't... I've never seen someone get two before. Um, all right, you need to up your fun a little bit. Why don't you go for a jog around campus? Because you do like fitness. And jogging actually works here because it's not, whatever reason, I don't know what it was about that lot, but that lot just did not support. <laughs> that lot just did not, not support a... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. That lot did not support um, jogging. Yeah, so this is nice. What time is your class tomorrow? Yeah, it's time. It is time for you to go back to your, your dorm, though. Let's have you, I think this might be the exact same dorm where, um, Dakota had his own little breakdown. <laughs> he cried in the stall. He cried in the stall. His was breakup related. And let's be real. Oliver Chase is going to have a breakup related one soon. <laughs> Let me switch this over to academic really quick. He's getting two because he's got the curator aspiration, I think. The same thing happened with Molly. Oh, really? Okay. What collection did Molly complete? I forgot that I gave that, that I gave Black Gen Curator. I, d I didn't know what else to give them, if I'm being honest. I, I really didn't. We need to achieve level three research and debate skill. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's crying in the bathroom. Here, why don't you come over here and order yourself some ramen really quick. And then you need to go to bed, buddy. What? Yeah. What? What time was your first class? Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Okay. So you should probably get to bed soon. Just like I should probably not stay up too late. And then once, once I put him to bed, I think I'm going to exit out of the game really quick and download UI cheats. Um, just cause I, I need it. <laughs> I, I need it. <laughs> Here, stop talking to her and eat your food. I think this was Dakota's bed. 
I think this was Dakota's bed. I mean, it's fine. Look at his cute little area, though. Um, but definitely, she completed the Crystal Collection, the Fossil Collection, and the Medusa Collection. Oh, wow. She did three? That's cool. Um, let me... We're going to switch over to my... That, not that. We're going to switch over to my face for a second. Um, I'm going to save, and then I'm going to save and exit. And, yeah, I just... I need to download UI Cheats, especially since I'm going to be, like, fiddling with his, his moodlets. I want to make sure that, um, I want to make sure that I can, I can get rid of them quickly if need be. Um, okay, so UI cheats Sims 4. Save link as, show in folder, extract all. Boom. Okay. Let me go back in. That was quick. <laughs> I should have timed that. What was that, like 30 seconds it took me to download this critical mod? <laughs> critical to my play experience, at least. I think I could, the like, I could, I could see not being able to use CC but, um, I, yeah, I could see not being able to use CC, like, if I was on console, like, C, like, I could give up CC, but, like, MC Command Center and UI Cheats, I don't think I could give up. Let me, I'm gonna turn that, I know I knocked that down a notch earlier because I said it was too bright, but I have now decided that I want it brighter. <laughs> Um, Medusa one is really easy as long as you have money, and she collected all of them as a team. Fossil just kind of happened when I was trying for the crystals. Medusa is easy. Good, good to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Especially because I forgot that was a thing. I forgot, I forgot the Medusa's collection was a thing. Which is going to be helpful for when I play my, my Void Critter Gamer person. I can have them collect Med Medusa, the Medusa figurines. They're also probably going to collect the Void Critter cards, but I have already have had a Sim complete the Void Critter card collection. Aram did. So. I need, this is my bed. It's got all my stuff next to it. I'm, I'm kicking him out of it tomorrow. This is my bed. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to switch it to a different emotion. As soon as he wakes up. Sir, get up. I think that Oliver Chase doesn't really... He's not upset anymore. He's still upset. Um, but... I think the upsetness has been replaced. I think now he's, I think now he's angry. <laughs> he is, he is an angry boy. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I keep it, um, I keep this like on in the background. Um, there's only eight Medusas. That's good. Um, why don't you come really quickly get some avocado toast, dude, before you have to go to class. Bruh, please, please. 
So yeah, this one, this one's a bit risky. Oh, uh, thank God. I was about to be like, Oliver Chase, please, you can, you can eat this on your way to class. But that's literally what he's doing. This one's a bit risky because of course he can die from it. But I, I think as long as I keep a close eye on it, then it'll be, it'll be fine. Um, oh, hello. Hello. Let me zoom out a little bit. No. He, he just angrily eating his toast. Oh, no, he's he's quite happily eating his toast, actually. Oh, he's cute. Oh, now he's angry. Now he's angrily eating his toast. <gasps> Bro, stop. You need to go to class. Oh, my God. Take notes. GeekCon is in town. Cute. I cannot. There we go. <laughs> I got it. Fitness level five. Nicely done, my friend. Um, and then, yeah, he needs to do anatomy for amateurs and CSI tree interest to forest, path forest pathology. And then we need to work on the research and debate skill. Do we need to master research and debate? No, we only need to get to level seven. So that's fine. Um, all right, well, let's get you to do anatomy for amateurs and CSI tree pathology. I have done this degree before. I did it with Arana, but I didn't do it at, um, I didn't do it like at, he didn't go to college. He, he, he did college from home because, um, basically he, he was like, here, why don't you go over here and, and sit? Um, but basically he was, um, he wanted, he, his dream had kind of been to be a marine biologist, but his dream had been to be a marine biologist, but he kind of gave up on it. Um, but then uh, Sage convinced him to go to college. So she supported him while he did it because she was super high up in her career. So it didn't matter to her. Um, but I really like going in and reading all of the... Uh... No, Rachel, I'm sorry. I would love to go to Geekcom with you, but I'm current. I'm working on my homework right now. I like to read these class things. I'm um, like putting together a puzzle where every piece looks similar. Cells can be used in large numbers to create almost any form of biological life. So for students, this serves as an introduction to some of the larger topics explored within the biology degree. Anatomy for amateurs. The leg bones connected to the knee bone. This fun anatomy fact joins 472 others in a course that introduces bi body basics for all bi biology students. Um, dead bodies aren't the only things worth examining out in the woods. Forest pathology takes tree illness and examines it with an eye for the cause, along with knowledge of the consequences for ill-maintained forests. Interesting. Having trouble there? Not coming as naturally to you as it usually does? Oh, look at that city in the background. I never noticed the city in the background of, of Foxbury. Is there a city in the background of, uh, I don't know if there's like a more traditional city in the background of, um, of you, Bright. That's a full on city. Is that, is that Sam Myshuno? I don't even know, ma'am. Yeah, you got more homework to do. But yeah, there's kind of like a rhythm to Sims doing homework in university. And once you've got the rhythm down, like I used to have a mod that made homework go by super fast. And I was kind of upset when I had to take it out. But like, honestly, I haven't really noticed. Like, I do just kind of have to sit here for a bit. But it's not like a super long time. For the most part, it's it's just fine. Um, I believe there's a telescope here. Yeah, there's a teles telescope here. So we're definitely going to be looking at that. <clears throat> We'll also go around and, um, I guess we don't need to collect more of the rocks. 
Yeah, we don't really need to collect more of the rocks, so I don't need to actually go and find them. No, we need to look for crystals. Okay. Let me... You keep working on that, OC. Remember when I was, like, super adamant that we not call him OC, and now I'm and now I'm doing it? <laughs> you keep working on that, buddy. Um, let me see if any of these are crystals. Please, some crystals. Oh gosh, where was it? Was it? It was by the car park. Hello? Oh, hi, Leah! No! None of them are crystals. Well, that's fine. We'll go and dig them up anyway. Voila! Hello, Leah! Welcome back to the States. Welcome back to EST. We are, uh, we're playing with Oliver right now. Um, he is very unhappy because he can't be an astronaut. He started out sad, but now he's just mad. Now he's a mad boy. <gasps> oh, hello. So I found a ring in Jason's bag. I think he is going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. Um, it feels good to not have to start stream to not have you start streaming at 1 a.m. I imagine that feels pretty good. Poor Amy. Um, yeah, say yes. You're right. Of course I should say yes. What was I thinking? OMG, I can't believe this is really happening. I was waiting for that call. Um, honestly, I might have Rachel drop out of school. Cause I, like I, cause Rachel, I imagine to be a trophy wife. I was going to have her have, she wants like a big, happy family, but she also hates children. Like she aged up with the hates children aspiration. So, or like trait. So I'm like, do you want a big happy family or not? <laughs> I mean, maybe they could adopt teenagers. Are you good? You good, OC? Okay. Let's, and then once you're done with that, we'll travel over here. Good for Rachel. Socialite, I don't believe, is a crystal. No, that's a metal. Alright, let's visit the Foxbury Commons. I mean, it's not how Sims Aspiration works, but it could be a big, happy, extended family of in-laws. <laughs> Maybe. I saw you heading out. Where are we going? I don't know. Not where you are. She wants kids, but she doesn't want children. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, maybe maybe they adopt teenagers. I don't know. Um, we need to get to level three in the research and debate skill, so we can, we can work on that here as soon as he's not uncomfortable anymore. Let's practice debate. We can angrily debate. Oh, he's also stinky. Oh, he also needs fun. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um. Are you hungry? You are kind of hungry. Come and get some fish tacos once we've, once we've got this going a little bit. I feel like you should quit space. Why? I, it's not, it's not happening, my dude. Yeah, just, just stay in castles and cryptids. Speaking of castles and cryptids, we need to update the, uh, the schedule. The D&D schedule. Oh my god, this man. Okay, how did, how far did you get there? Not super far. It's too bad. Yeah, get some food and then you can come over here and watch TV. Dislikes hip-hop music? Sure. You're pretentious enough for that. Um, come watch TV. I can start that. Oh, thank you. I would appreciate it. I was gonna start, start it after this, but can we turn this off? Oh my god. He can't enjoy the TV because he hates hip-hop so much. 
Is there another TV? Can I, can I change the station? No, it's only hip hop. Oh, do I change it so that like, it's not something he hates? Or do I, or do I leave it? Cause I can't turn it off. I'll change, I'll change, I'll, I'll just get rid of it. That's fine. There you go, buddy. Oh, hello. Finish eating your fish tacos and then watch TV. Oh, Master Chef. Here, we can meet talk to this guy. Teach about robotics? Okay. You don't know anything about robotics. I don't know why you think you can teach someone about robotics. Is this a robotics club member? Probably. Do we like him? Nope, we don't like anybody. We think he's annoying. All right, let's go ahead and head home so we can take a shower and then we'll call our girlfriend. Oh my God, this is the downside is we have to like watch him go all the way across campus. This is why they gave us bikes, but even the bikes aren't helpful here because they're stairs. Yo, is there no power? <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just dark. Okay. And then chat with Rachel when we got out of the shower. Okay, never mind. I guess we should talk to our roommates. Also, I'm switching this. This is my bed. This can be this can be your bed, Kaito. Never mind. It's nobody's bed. <laughs> okay, no, it's Kaito's bed. Okay, cool. Kaito and I switched. Um, there's so, so much food and not a fridge to put it in. Um, who should we talk to? Who should we like be friends with? Maybe we can do Tetsu. Let's do a friendly introduction to Tetsu. If you're a cool dude, I'll give you a, a makeover. Do we like him? Nope. What about you, Kaito? Can we find somebody we actually like? I don't think so. We like Kaito, but Kaito doesn't like us. We think Kaito is responsible, <laughs> but he thinks we're clingy. <laughs> oh, what about this girl, Kalama? Oh, let's, I'm gonna steal these seeds real quick. We'll do a polite introduction to Kasama. Nope, we don't like her either. Well, I think he's talked to enough people today. He's He's gone out of his comfort zone enough today, you know? Just gonna cheat that. <laughs> this is why I needed UI cheats back. Sent out summons for D&D. Are, have the adventurers been summoned?
We also don't like... No, we think Kalama is weird. <laughs> hey! Who did my plants? I had plants here. It was a vibe. Oh. Excuse you. Someone stole my plants. So I'll put my frog here. Also, why don't we why don't we turn that off? Somebody stole my plants. I had cute little succulents next to my computer. It was adorable. Thank you. This girl, Asami, Asami Inoue, she is actually helpful. This is the potential breakup song. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a fun little, but yeah, fun little hack for, uh, for anybody who has M um, MC Command Center. I really, this has been a gameplay thing that I've been doing for a while now when I want like there to be an underlying emotion to my character, but I don't want them to like always feel that emotion. Then I give them like the second highest version of it in MCC and then they, um, and like a lot of times they'll have it, but they won't like always have it. Um, so I'm doing the same thing with star. I'm giving her this, like a scared moodlet. Excuse me, sir. Where is your class? It better be in this building. Wait. Oh, shit. I have to click go to class. Go to class. Can I... How do I go to class? Excuse me? Oliver Chase has decided he does not want to go to class, which I think that's the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> At least he did his homework. You can't really skip class when you've only got like three of them, Oliver. It's not a good idea. <laughs> he did say no. Oh, now you're going to class. Okay. Sure. There we go. Did the absolute minimum of showing up. He didn't even do that. This is, he is clearly not in a great place right now. Why don't you go take an angry poop? Um, why don't you call over Misty? Maybe see if Misty can come over if she's not working. Because you've got a bit of time before your next class. Misty Dove will be right over. Okay. Misty is coming over. Get some scrambled eggs with bacon. Okay, okay, okay. She's here. She's here. The angel... The angel is here. He just stomps past her. Let's go over here. Can we do... I want to rant and rave. Oh, but he still kisses her. He's like, I'm going to give you a kiss and then I'm going to flip out. Let's rant logically. Uh, 
Oh, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe she was trying to tell him, um, oh my god, B. Give me a second and I'll, and I'll look at that. Um, okay, so this was actually a mean interaction. Um, maybe, maybe Misty was trying to, like, make him feel better. Like, be like, well, look, you're, you know, it's, it's not a huge deal. Like, you know, it's, it's, like, this isn't you to skip class, but, like, that's okay. That doesn't mean that's, that's who you are, like... Everybody kind of does, has a little slip up every now and then. I don't, I don't think that that makes you like a bad person. And then I, maybe he's like just not having it, having a dude. And so he's like trying to rant logically to her. Neighborhood stories have been causing absolute chaos. Apparently Amelia and Daryl Charm broke up because Amelia is married to Vlad and they're having a baby. And Lilith Vitor married Daryl. Also the dad of the Watson family turned to a life of crime to keep the farm, I guess, and Katrina married a werewolf because her and Christopher are also having a baby. <laughs> At least she realized she could do better than Dawn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty that's some pretty good insanity there. Well, you know what? Maybe if if we're arguing, maybe we'll do... Yeah, it's an unpleasant conversation. Maybe we'll do another one. I, th I think she's trying to... She's trying to calm him down again. And he's just not... He's not really having it. In fact, I like... I, let's do it again so I can get a good screenshot. Oh, yeah, she's angry now. Flat. Oh, oh, look at Misty's face. She's like, I don't need this. She's like, what are you? Okay, yeah, I think maybe she, yeah, she's like, okay, I, I clearly cannot talk to you right now. Maybe we, uh, let's make her leave. She's like, if you, if you're not willing to talk to me, then I'm just going to leave. And he's like, fine. Bye. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do our building with cells homework after this. Oh, that got rid of our anger, though. Interesting. I mean, I want that back. Maybe I'll switch, since it somehow got rid of it, maybe I'll switch it back over to sad. Maybe he can, like, send her a sad text. Also, why don't you change out of your wet clothes? You're clearly wet. Why can't you change out of your wet clothes? Oh, because you're about to. Alright, go to class. Actually go to class this time, please. Oh yeah, now you're all upset, so you're going to go super slow. Wait, holy cow. Oh my god. Our romance with Misty has gone down so much. Like, we were at, like, full romance with her. kind of tea. <laughs> Not the good kind. Okay, let's send her, let's send her a sad text. 
and then finish our building with cells homework. I feel like we I feel like we badgered her a little bit there with sad texts because like we sent her one and she didn't reply so I feel like he was just like okay I'll send her another one and now she's like oh she's like just come over come on we can let's talk Oh, but look, she's like, she's so excited to see us. Let's offer our gratitude to Misty really quick. Can we give her like a gloomy compliment? Yeah, she's still mad. She's still mad. Let's, let's see if we can maybe make her a bit less mad. She's, she's reasonably mad. <laughs> okay, now she's, she's fine. She's like, there is the Oliver Chase I know. And we're going to be like, we're going to be like, my life is horrible. And she's like, and there's the one I've come to know. <laughs> Here, where's, uh, where's Joanne? I wonder. Oh, there's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Let's, uh, <laughs> no, I do want to complain about my problems to her. I would also like to get to know her. So we can, her last trade is good, but I want him to know that. Um, we'll complain about cloudy weather. Let's ask her about her career as well. Misty is a seed scatterer at Peter's Petals and Pods Landscaping. Oh, see? Yeah, look, we've got... We, we gained a sentiment with her. Um, I don't have enough money to donate to charity. I am a college student. Let's see, does she have any... No, no, she doesn't have any about us. But we got a nice little sentiment about her. Um, why don't we do another gloomy compliment? I want to, like... Can we sit and chat? Let's sit and chat here. Yeah, she does seem to be feeling... She does seem to be feeling better. Okay. So, they got in a fight. They got in a fight. It's okay. Um, Oliver Chase, why don't you finish while you're here? Just finish your building with Sal's homework. But that was nice. We got to talk to Misty. We feel a bit better. We do love our girlfriend. Our, our relationship did not, still did not go up very much though. And we're back to being sad. <laughs> slow dance with her. I want to give it a try. Because his fun's low, so we need to get it up somehow. Stop. Stop. They're just slow dancing in the hallway. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my slow dancing is like, I don't know if it's glitched or something, but they never do it for very long. They do it for like two seconds and then they're done. 
which is upsetting. Why don't you head home? Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me, Misty. You cheered him up a little bit. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> you did your best. We know. We know that. <laughs> There's only so much you can do with this man. <laughs> Um, let's watch a bit of TV just to, like, quickly get our skill up. Er, oh, hello. Wow, that was fast. He immediately, he watched two seconds of Politicim and was like, there, I'm done. That's all I needed. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Oh, this is, uh, this is our doctor. So our doctor is like, it's good to hear your voice, Oliver Chase. I was wondering if I should get to know Anton Pina a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. I mean, it's a little weird for your doctor to be, like, asking you about potential friendships. But we could say that his, doc that, um, that his doctor is just, like, calling to check up on him. Um, yeah, go ahead and go for it. But we could just say she's, like, calling to check up on him and stuff. Um, and maybe he, it, it, it's nice to, like, he feels good talking to her. Like, maybe we could, uh, we could chat with her a little bit, like, about kind of how we've been doing. Are those my plants? Did you steal my plants? I think that she stole my plants. Guys, I think she stole my plants. And if that's the case, I'm going to be very, very upset. Okay, here's the car park where there's an another... Are there two car parts? I'm just gonna check really quickly and see if there are more rocks. Rock. Rock. <gasps> Crystal rock. Crystal rock. Go dig that up. All right, let's get you to level two of research and debate. Um. Let me also take you back to Curator. Because we need to collect two more frogs. You can't fix people. <laughs> okay, yeah. So he's kind of chatting with his doctor about, like, what's going on with him. Maybe fight her, delete her. <laughs> Maybe he's, like, mentioning that, like, he's got, he's at Foxbury, he's got a, bi he's, like, going for a biology degree, and then Dr. McGraw can be like, oh, no way, that's, that's my alma mater, like, I, I also went to Foxbury and got a, got a biology degree, and he's like, huh, okay, interesting. Oh, come on, <laughs> no! sucks okay let's head home we'll grab some food then we'll go pee and then we'll go to sleep oh my gosh she goes so slow this is gonna this is gonna make things difficult i can already tell is that misty hi misty what are you doing here is she coming to say hi i think misty has come to say hi um, why don't you go get a slice of this roast chicken that someone just left out? Oh, she's talking to someone else. She's talking to your roommate's boyfriend. The roommate's girlfriend is talking to the roommate's boyfriend. Maybe we'll, maybe she can be like, hey, I came to check up on you. And he's just like, Misty, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Can you please just like, yeah, bye. I love you, but bye. <laughs> All right, 
let's uh let's use the bathroom and then you've got to go to bed my dude Did you even do your homework for... Yes, okay, you did. I was about to be like, did you even do your homework for your class? I swear, if you did not. This is weird. Usually it just fast forwards. But it's not doing it right now. Which is a shame. What a keeper he is. He's got issues. <laughs> He's got problems. He's not sleeping very well. Oh, do you guys want to hear a funny story about something that happened at work today? Okay, I'm going to wake you up, even though you have not gotten a full night's sleep because you need to take a shower. So I, I've, I've mentioned, I think, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned either on stream or on Discord, but I, I, I quit my job. Um, and tomorrow is my last day. And, um, and before I left, then because I'm a concierge and people that like, and I'm the one people ask about this kind of thing, then I had, um, I've had many guests ask me like, Hey, whatever, do you know any babysitters in the area? We want to have like a night to ourselves. So we want someone to babysit our kids and we don't, we don't really, cause it's a, it's a pretty isolated area, um, that we're in. So I, um, before I left, then I was like, I'm going to put my name on the babysitter list. Um, Okay, yeah, go ahead and go to class. We'll, we'll work on that when you get home. Um, but I was like, I'm going to put my name on the babysitter list. And so it only took like, so I, it, after like a couple days, like two days after I put it on my list, I was at home and I got a text from a guest who I've actually helped previously. Um, and she hired me to be their babysitter. Um, like for 4th of July weekend. Um, so I, um, let's get him to take notes. Does take notes increase skill gain? No, actively listen increases skill gain. Take notes increases grade. Um, but so, so yeah, so I, I got this and my, my rate that I'm doing is $10 per hour per kid, um, plus dinner, like whether that be reimbursement for dinner or whatever, like something with dinner, um, and so, and I mentioned in it that there's, I happen to know again, cause I'm a concierge that they can buy me dinner at the inn and it's going to taste delicious. But I also know it's going to cost like a hundred bucks because we are an overpriced resort. Um, well, we're, we're overpriced. Yeah. Overpriced. Maybe not to like rich people. It's not overpriced, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of money. Um, so I, I told her, I was, I was like, um, I'll need reimbursement for, for lunch or for dinner. Um, that can be, you can either, uh, you can, I know that you can buy me dinner from the inn. Um, but it's also quite expensive or you can also just reimburse me for something that I get in town. Um, and she mentioned that she would look into maybe getting me, but I, and I was like, you could give me dinner at the end, but it'd be really expensive. So you can also just reimburse me for what, for anything I get in town. And she mentioned she would look into getting me something for the end. So flash forward to today. And I told her when I was talking to her, I was like, I'm a, I told her I was a concierge there, but I, I quit. Or I, what I told her is I used to work at the inn because I didn't want to tell her that like, I didn't, I, I didn't want to tell her that like, oh, I, I, I put in my two weeks or, oh yeah, I, I, I quit at the inn. I just didn't want to like invite those questions. You know, I thought it'd be easier for me to just say like, oh yeah, I used to work at the inn. Um, so as far as she's concerned, I don't work there anymore, <laughs> but I do. I have, I had, after I sent that, I had two days left, one of which was today. So today I, 
<laughs> Today I um Okay, it's fun as well. Um, so today I went to, I was at work and she was emailing and I saw in this email chain that she talked about how they potentially were able to get a babysitter. Um, and I was like, LOL. Yeah, I know. But, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, she was talking about how she, they potentially were able to, they like got this babysitter. Um, and then she also mentioned wanting a, um, oh, somebody we actually like. Oh, hi, Naomi. Oh, good. So we're, we're becoming friends with our doctor. That's kind of fun. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I keep losing my train of thought. So she was, so she mentioned this thing and then she mentioned that, um, because they had a babysitter, they wanted to eat at a different restaurant at the, at, like on property at the, at the resort now. And I happen to know that, so I got them reservations at the other restaurant and I happened to know that, um, so, okay. So sorry. Rewind. So I got the reservations at this other restaurant and I was like, okay, I should reply to her, but I don't want to say that it's me because then that's just going to invite questions about like, oh, I thought you said you used to work here. And I was like, it, I don't want to deal with that. So I just, I just like use the regular generic concierge, like not my specific, like my full name concierge signature. I just use the concierge team one. Um, but then I also realized as I was booking this for them that, um, <laughs> That, so at the, as with the, the case with a lot of resorts, you get breakfast and dinner included. Um, however, your dinner credit does not transfer. I knew their dinner credit would not transfer over to this other restaurant that they were going to be eating at that night that I was going to be babysitting their kids. So I, I mentioned in this email, <laughs> not signed as me. I was basically like, just so you know, we have had people in the past, um, <laughs> We've had we've had a uh, guest in the past who use babysitters and eat at this restaurant buy dinner for use their dining credit as dinner for their babysitter um, just so it doesn't go to waste. And she was like, oh, that's a great idea. I'll get dinner for my babysitter. Then. <laughs> and I was just like, it's me. I'm the babysitter. I don't know. It doesn't sound as funny when I'm like talking about it. No, um, it doesn't sound as funny when I'm like saying it out loud to like you guys. Cause I, I but trust me in hotel sense of humor, it's funny. <laughs> I basically hustled my own dinner <laughs> at like my own expensive dinner that otherwise would have been a hundred dollars. <laughs> 40 chess. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. <laughs> what? 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 It was going to go to waste, okay? They weren't going to use it. They're not going to use it. Let, give it to me. <laughs> I get three courses, okay? I get barbecue chips and pimento cheese, classic southern cuisine. I get, like, a really good smash burger, and I get a full-on brownie sundae, okay? What What do you want? What did you expect of me? What was I supposed to do? Like... <laughs> yes! legal it is legal they no guys you don't understand that credit would have gone to waste they would have paid like that is included in their nightly rate they were paying for it anyway <laughs> it's not like they're paying extra so that i can eat they're paying for it anyway so they it might as well go to the person who's watching their children <laughs> I'm glad you guys do think it's funny. I, Cause like, again, as I was telling the story, I felt like it wasn't funny, but I'm, I'm glad you guys do think it's funny. <laughs> Here, why don't you go, uh, watch, watch some TV while you listen to hip hop. Oh, great. He hates hip hop. Yeah. Don't listen to hip hop. Come out, come over here. Oh my God. His fun fills up so fast. He just needs to watch like one second of TV. That's winning while quitting. <laughs> All right, let's look at you. What is the, um, oh, there is, oh, no, that's not Brightchester. I thought that was Brightchester over there. Um, I was about to say, I don't remember it being so close. Okay. 
Come over here and dig up all of these other these other minerals. And then Yeah, we just gotta keep digging them up. So this one's a fossil because the bones are sticking out of it. I mean, honestly, like my I told I told my fellow concierges, I was like, y'all, I want like can y'all like help me get that bag? Like <laughs> and they were like, yeah. We'll observe the sky for a bit. Let him indulge in space. See but can't touch. Um But I was like, yeah, if anyone wants babysitters, like, I'm tell them I'm here. And they're all like, yeah, okay. I, I mean, my boss watched me do it. I mean, granted, my boss is also, like, my friend. Um, my super sweet friend who also, like, she talked to the dining room manager. And I she knows that I've been wanting these blueberry ricotta pancakes that are available for breakfast in the dining room. She knows that I've wanted them, like, ever since I saw them. So today, um, the dining room manager came in. And she was like, by the way, can you guys get, get breakfast for Casey since tomorrow's her last day? <laughs> and the, di and the dining room manager likes me. So he was like, don't tell anyone, but yes. <laughs> so I get, I get blueberry ricotta pancakes tomorrow. All right. Stop doing that so that we can, I'm going to stargaze, even though I want to moon gaze, I'm going to stargaze because moon gazing is not going to contribute to our collection. Yeah, I've got, okay. Yeah. Both of the, both of the homeworks are complete. But yeah, I don't know. I hate it right now. Like I hate that. I hate my job right now. But I also, like, liked my job when I first started out at, at it, when I was in, like, a better mental space. So my hope, I'm just going to give him a tiny bit of energy here. So my hope is that, like, if I don't find another job by the time I'm feeling better after going to, like, the psychiatrist and getting back on medication and stuff, then, like, I'll go back to it and, um, and like, hopefully I'll like it more. Because they, they told me, they were like, when you come back, like, if you want to come back, then, then like, please do. So, concierge has a very high turnover rate, so I, I doubt that I would not be able to, to, like, squeeze back in. Bro, can you please get a print? Oh, God, it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. Never mind. Go home. Go home. Sorry, I, I did not notice. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> In fact, here, let me, let me, let me give you a hand here, buddy. Let's just, uh, let's go home so we don't have to walk all the way there. I'm late, but here, hello, Grace. Hello, hello. We are just playing with, uh, with Oliver Chase right now. Um, for, you know, first, uh, first episode of his, uh, of his generation. Um, and basically this entire episode has just been him either sad or mad about the whole he can't be an astronaut thing. Hello? Also, I finally turned my game to a reasonable volume. Although that is kind of loud. Okay, now that just sounds cursed. I'm gonna turn that off. So yeah, Oliver Chase is uh yeah, he's not been feeling great. Misty has kind of been taking like the brunt of it. Um like like she's trying to offer support and it's not it it it, it hasn't been going great. Um Oh my god, go to class. Um, it hasn't been going great, um, but we can go and see her today. We did have, we got in a fight, the two of them got in a fight, but then he did go to her house and kind of like, they kind of made up, but like, if you look at their romance, you can see that they're still really good friends, but like their romance has gone down quite a bit.
What class is he in right now? He is in ana anatomy for amateurs. That is what he's in. But wasn't as prepared as he should have been and could have gotten more out of that class. Yeah, he could have gotten more out of that class because um, he, he arrived late. He's not very good at waking up early. I mean, he used to be good at waking up early. I think that... I, I think this is the depression talking. <laughs> like, let's all be real here. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna go. I might just go to two hours today. Um, for real, though. Um, I might just go to two hours today because I do have work tomorrow. So he's hungry. Who is this? It's Chet. <laughs> Sir? Have you been reincarnated? <laughs> Chet Ledoux? Wait, but... But let's be real for a second here. He would become friends with Chet, Re Chet Ledoux. Let's do a polite introduction. <laughs> They are both snobs. Wait, no. Oh, no. Go introduce yourself to Chet. <laughs> you guys know what's about to happen. <laughs> Is Chet gonna ruin relationships in two generations? Five generations apart? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Hi, Chet! Wow, even Chet, even Chet er, is too egotistical. I'm sorry. I read it's Chet Ledoux the fourth, and I in my head I acknowledged it, and it made me laugh harder. But I want to verbally acknowledge that as well. <laughs> it's Chet Ledoux the fourth. <laughs> I mean, again, even even Chet is a bit too egotistical for him. How did they become best friends so fast? We all be come on. We all knew this was gonna happen. We all knew this was gonna happen. Brag about your grades. Complain about hip hop music. Chet also probably hates hip hop music. We can become best friends. <laughs> Let's get to know him. <laughs> Well, Chet Ledoux's definitely gonna need to be set. He's mean! <laughs> Just immediately discover he's mean. Let's be best friends. All the friends. Polite is right. Made a new good friend. De well decorated. Deep conversation. Let's go get some food. 
Go get yourself some more avocado toast. <laughs> He's confident from being around other snobs. Snobbly surrounded. Um, you have got building with cells tomorrow. So... Wait, no, you don't. You don't have anything tomorrow because it's Friday. Okay, yeah, so we don't need to worry about his homework. That's great because tonight's love, love day, so we can um, we can hang out with Misty in, instead and focus on her. Um, I do... Let's really quickly go check out the rocks. I don't know if they would have respawned, but we'll check. It does not look like it. No. Oh, no, 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 no. They did. Okay. Come over here and dig. Please, while you're actually happy and can walk at a normal speed. Okay, but that one, that one's the same. Hey, Oliver Chase, it's Lucas. Do you want to hang out tonight? Uh, I'd love to, Lucas, and I'm sorry you're single, but I want to hang out with my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling great after meeting Chet Ledoux. I believe this is the opposite reaction most people have to Chet Ledoux, but this is Oliver Chase we're talking about right now. All right, please give me actual crystals. Yes, okay, cool. So we just need to find one more crystal and two more frogs. You want to, like, maybe pick up the pace a little bit, my friend? I guess it's 30, 30, you have 30 minutes, so. But, like, you can jog. You love fitness. <laughs> okay, after class, we're going to go on a, we'll ask, uh, we'll ask Misty out on a date. Yeah, it's time for your class. You're just the slowest walker ever. You could have jogged. Let's take notes. I heard you became friends with Chet Ledoux. He's pretty cool. Do you think? Do you believe that, Makoto? Do you actually believe that? <laughs> he just he sent that text from the afterlife, and Felicity just immediately smacks him upside the head. Like, are you insane? <laughs> Don't encourage this. All right, cool. So we are done with that. Let's ask Misty. I think he's, yeah, no, we'll, we'll ask her on a date. Misty said no. <laughs> Misty did not want to go on a date with us. I think it's because we're, we were really sad. We're like depressed. I mean, Based on other times when he's been depressed, I don't necessarily blame her for not wanting to spend time with him. So why don't we go try and cheer ourselves up? Maybe, maybe he was calling and asking her on a date and maybe, here, we'll, we'll say that Misty was like, Makoso has no idea who Chet is. He just wants to support his grandson. <laughs> Maybe, let's say that Misty was like, like, he called to ask her on a date, but he sounded really upset, and so Misty was like, listen, why don't you go home and try and cheer yourself up a little bit before, before we go on a date? So we can, like, brush his teeth, get him confident. Give himself, yeah, give himself a bit of a pep talk. We just need to do something that makes him happy really quick. Why don't you go for, why don't you, can you work out? No, you can't work out. Hmm. What's something we can do to, to make you happy really quick? So I don't want to just like delete this. You know, actually, you know, yeah, let's delete it. We'll delete it. 
We're feeling flirty. Let's try this. Let's try this again. Ask on date. Misty Dove. There we go. See, he just had to cheer himself up a little bit. Um, and where should we go? He's not super hungry. I, maybe go somewhere where he can collect some things. Like some frogs. Why don't we go to the Willow Creek Park since that place has some, like, nice memories for us? Oh, and he's feeling protective. When Oliver chases around someone he adores, he just wants to protect them and keep them safe. Well, too bad. I'm making you angry. <laughs> Oops. Wrong one. Um, cheat emotion intensity. Angry. Very angry. Oops. No, don't immediately go in for the rant and rave. Let's let's try. She's like, whoa, 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 Oh, she's bored. She is. Maybe now we can be like, what? Was that not was that not good enough for you? Why why are you why are you why are you so bored? And she's like, oh no, I'm sorry. It's not it's not you. Like, it was just like this kind of like. Like it was just this kind of like boring day at work. It's it's not you. I'm actually really excited to see you and like spend some time with you. Oh, yeah, she's like, see, no, it's okay. It's, it, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be like this. He's just like, oh yeah, you always so well in, contr in control of your emotions, huh? And she's like, excuse me. Here, why don't we try and hang out a little bit and do something fun? Why don't we, why don't we come and play together? Like, why don't we go play some chess? We're both, we're both big old smarty pantses. Sure. That's the the woman I wanted to be my boss. Oh, she is. She she does not look very happy. He looks happy though. He's he's enjoying himself. He does like logic. She's like, yeah, that was a good move. <laughs> what about that? That's also a good move. There we go. See? Oh, oh, nope. Now he's mad. Now he's now he's getting mad. <laughs> She's like, you don't need to be such a sore loser about it. <laughs> he's like, I'm not a sore loser. See? Why who needs to be a sore loser when I'm gonna win? <laughs> Don't flirt with the teenager. <laughs> he is he's kinda toxic. seen someone 
someone angrily play chess before? <laughs> or bored play chess. Oh, but there we go. See, he's feeling a bit better. He's feeling a bit better now. Why don't we, uh... Why don't we express our fondness really quick while he's feeling better? Oh, oh no. Really quickly, go back. Go compliment appearance. Okay, no, 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 no. Here we go. Maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. Let's try and make her laugh. Maybe that'll help her. Okay, now she's feeling inspired. Oh, oh, she's like, oh, I love this. Never mind, I don't love this story. I liked the story. I no longer like this story. Oh, Shazi also likes Chet Ledoux. <laughs> wow. Um, why don't we... I want to go here together... And he can be like, can you help me look for some frogs? And she's like, yeah, sure. Sounds fun. This poor thing is always so tired. They're too slippery. Oh my gosh. You're useless. Where are the frogs? Where are the frogs? Wait, seriously, where are the frogs? I thought there was a frog over here. I thought there was a frog over there and I thought there was a frog over this way. Like, down by this lake. No. Is it down by this dock? No. Y'all, where are the frogs? Try catching another one. Okay, we got a frog. We got a frog. Let's try and get one more. No, they're too slippery. Try and get another one. I didn't know I could do this one after another. Okay, boom. We got it. We just need one more crystal, which I didn't I haven't seen any crystal rocks around. Well, why don't we go give her a hug? She still doesn't look very good. Let's complain about love day. Let's complain about what well, we can complain about college stuff. And then maybe she can be like, oh man, I'm, I'm glad I didn't go to college. Then. <laughs> He's like, yeah, how are you doing? And she's like, I really like being a florist. It's nice. She's like, yeah, I can't actually do any flower things yet, but, um, I will, I hopefully will be able to soon. Oh. She's so cute. Here, why don't you get you make you two dinner? Why don't you go over here and make some chori pan? And then uh and then you and then you can like make you two dinner. Oh no. He's like, don't rush me. Maybe he, maybe she would, he was like, you don't need to hurry me. And she's like, now you're yelling at me again. Oh, wow. That's all he needed. He just needs to rant logically and his anger goes away. 
That doesn't fit my story, though. We're gonna... So we're gonna... We're gonna beep it me. <laughs> I don't like doing this, guys. I, I, I need you all to know I really don't like doing this. Yeah, now she's mad again. can argue about romance. Maybe he's like, I was here all day and you just spent so much of the day bored. And she was like, well, you spent so much of the day angry. I was trying to have fun. It seems like you're the one who can't handle your... Oops. Uh... Yeah, she was like, I was trying to have fun. You're the one who got, who just kept getting mad. You were, what, what is with you? You're, you were blowing so hot and cold with me. One moment you're like super sweet. And the next moment you're just mad and you're brushing me off. And he's like, listen, you know, I'm going through a lot right now. I like, I know I could, I, I should have a better hand, handle on my emotions. I'm working on it, but I'd really appreciate it if you didn't yell at me about it. Like while I'm, tr while I'm trying. And she's like, I'd appreciate it if you treated me better. <laughs> And he's like, okay. Apparently he won that argument. May I, I imagine he won it because she was just like, you know what, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I should. I, I shouldn't yell at you. I know that you're going. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I didn't. I didn't mean to, to hurt you. Of course, you know, I didn't. I like, I love you. And he's like, I love you too. And it was a legendary date. <laughs> Great love day. Great love day. For sure. Why don't you clean that up? Why don't you head home? Yeah, she's in here trying to calm herself down. I also, like, especially right now, I would not have been so mad, but look at this smug walk. He's like, I should tell, I should tell Chet about this. I totally won that argument. Like, no, you didn't, Oliver Chase. Oh my gosh. I think I am going to... Like, I, I, I mean, um, I was about to say I hate to end it on this note, but honestly, like, it's pretty dramatic, so I kind of love ending it on this note. Um, but I do think I need to end it on this note because I, I, I need to go to bed. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it's, I know it's a bit of a shorter stream today, so I'm sorry about that. I just, I really wanted to play, um, and I need to go to work tomorrow, so I, I can't stay up as late as I would necessarily like, but that's about to be, he definitely is in need of a, of a smack in the face. Yeah, no. I mean, yeah, we all, we all knew that this was going to kind of be part of his storyline. Like he is the knowledge provider and that's, this is like the main plot point of knowledge provider. So we, we've all been knowing that it's coming. I mean, I do think that he, well, I don't think it justifies his actions. I at least think that like, you know, the, the fact that his dreams have just been crushed and he's still trying to process that. It, at the very least, it gives, like, context to it, which is why I think Misty has been so, like, such an angel in dealing with it up to this point. But I don't think that she's going to be able to take much more of it. I mean, look at their romance. It's already, like, it's, al it's already facing some issues. So, yeah. I think, uh, I think in the next episode... We, uh, we're going to be focusing a lot less on Misty and, like, Oliver Chase's romantic life, and we're probably going to be doing quite a bit of powering through university instead. Um, Love Day was successful, though. <laughs> I guess Love Day was successful. I haven't seen Lucas around. I'd like to see Lucas and maybe chat with him at some point. But yeah, so, um, but yeah, so with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him sleep through the night 
let this boy let this boy finally get some rest <laughs> and then uh and then i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna hop off so you almost done what happened to kaito is kaito still here did kaito leave <laughs> who even knows Yeah, we'll let Oliver Chase get his uh, his full rest, and I'm gonna try and be better about making him go to bed at reasonable times. <laughs> What's this? Oh yeah, because he he set up uh, the director of Space Y. Forgot about that. Um, go get yourself some pancakes. Oh, I'm so excited for my pancakes tomorrow. I really hope that he, that they're actually able to do that. Um, He's sad. Sadly waving through a window. Wait, what? Sadly waving through a window. Sims are whispering something secret nearby, and it's really bumming Oliver Chase out not to be included. Uh, trust me, friend, your, your mother dealt with what they're whispering about. You don't want to be included in it. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna let him eat, and then I'm gonna, I know I said I was gonna hop off when he woke up, but I'm gonna let him eat, and then I'm gonna hop off, just so that when we come back, we are, he is, like, full needs, he's doing great, and we can just jump right into kind of working on his, the things he needs to do for school, because he has, he actually has quite a bit to do. Um, I should have given this presentation already, and I have not, so, um, that is definitely gonna need to be something that we, uh, we focus on. Luckily, we've got a pretty good chunk of time in between our classes where we can give that presentation, so it should be fine. I just need to remember to do it, which doesn't always happen. Um, okay, cool. Um, before I go, though, last question, like, just a question for you guys. Um, did the audio, was the, how was the audio this time? Because I turned, like I said, I turned the game audio, I'm gonna switch over to my face. Um, I turned the game audio up. And I think it sounds, at least to me, it sounds a lot better. So I imagine to you guys, it sounds a lot better as well. Um, but how did it, how does that sound in relation to my voice? Like, is my voice loud enough or is the game too loud? Because I remember that was the original problem and why I turned it down so much is because it was like, like you couldn't hear me speak. Um, you couldn't hear me speak over like the sound of the game audio. So if... Uh, if it, if you can, if you can hear both pretty well, then that, that means that 80% is like a, is a good, um, is a good volume to have it at. And I would, and that, that, that's good to know. Um, sounded good to me. Okay, cool. Thank you, Ogie. But yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, again, I know it was a bit of a shorter stream. I'm sorry about that. Um, next one should be longer. Um, and I, I mean, I had fun. I, I, I don't like having Oliver Chase be mean to Misty, but I do kind of like having the drama. Um, so don't worry. And he's gonna, he's gonna like, and I'm, well, I'm, he's gonna, they're gonna get back. They're gonna break up. They're gonna get back together. I'm open to suggestions. I have ideas about how he's gonna win her back. I am open to more suggestions about it though. Um, next episode is probably gonna be pretty grindy. Um, I'm probably going to start out pretty sad. <laughs> um, and then we're going to kind of move into, and then we're going to move into like, um, working on our classes. I aim to finish at least one term of, um, one more term of university. Probably two is my, is my goal for the next time. Um, and we're also going, I also am going to want to work on his, um, his aspirations as well. He also needs to work on his skills. Um, I actually am not sure what I want his final skill to be, although I do have an idea of what I think I want it to be, and it can tie into him potentially winning her back and, like, because I want him winning her back. I want it to have, like, a gameplay element to it. Like, I don't want, I don't want me to just, like, sit there narrating what he says and, like, oh, look, he's won, he was sweet and won her back. I want there to be, like, actual challenge, like, for me. Because I'm, I mean, I'm the one who's causing all the drama. It's, it's all me. Like, none of this would be happening if I wasn't actually going in there and, like, messing with his emotions and stuff. Um, and, like, clicking on, you know, the mean interactions. So, I, like, for me, I want it to be a challenge 
to do something that is going to get her, that's like going to win Misty back over. Um, and so I, I do have an idea for it and, um, and maxing and it's a skill idea I have would be good for that. And also it ties into his major. Um, so like, I think that it could be very feasible that we could get that done. But again, um, I'd be, I'm very open to suggestions as to kind of what you guys think. Um, don't worry. We're only going to have like one more, one more stream of toxic Oliver Chase. It's going to be toxic enough that the relationship ends. But after that, he's going to kind of like come back to himself a bit more. I mean, he is always going to be a snob. <laughs> he is he's always going that's that's just him he he is a snob he is a dweeb we all we've all known that he's kind of pretentious but uh but i don't think he's like a bad person um even and what he's except right now he is kind of being a bad person like right right now he is he is hurting people but um but i think that once he kind of finds a new thing to focus his energy on because right now his energy, he doesn't have, he like always focused his energy on like being an astronaut and now he doesn't really have anywhere to focus that anymore. So I think once he finds something new to focus his energy on, then um, he'll be in a much better like mental place. And that is, it is at that point that we can, first of all, help him with college because he's got three more terms after this one, um, but also start kind of realizing the mistakes that he's made. So we will see a bit more of that later, though. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did, too. And um, I hope that I can see you all again soon. So thank you very much, and goodbye.